Okay. Well, yeah, before we get started, so. Don, you have no authority on this board. Nobody does. Authority <laughs> for what? There's no chairman. There's Who no chairman. Who's the vice chairman? My first. Uh, uh, and based on what? So? We voted on that already. We voted on when? That. when? Two years ago. I, what day? My first meeting. You haven't been, 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 been to a lot of meetings. You haven't either been. We didn't do it this year, did we? You have not been to a lot of meetings. Yeah, I've been to these years. Yeah, well, this well when your son's on it, yeah. No. Do you, do you, know, do you know how long I've been chairman? Uh, and how many times I've been voted in? Do you know how long I've been chairman? That's my issue. 30 years. That's. If you can go back 30 years and find out if I was voted on, you do it. Did we vote in 2023? Do we have to have a vote? Where does it say we have to vote a chairman every year? Every year. Want me to read it? Sure. So, well, maybe we'll just have a vote. Yeah, can't. It's not on the agenda. Okay. Unless and we don't have a chairman. So let's get a legal opinion on what whether this is a legitimate board or commission. You want me to call that right now? I, I say we postpone until you get a legal opinion that does not happen over the phone. Well, here's here's what I say we do. We, we have the meeting, and then if he thinks we shouldn't be. No, you, we don't have a chairman. We didn't vote a chairman in 2023. this meeting, I'm going to be the chairman. You can be the acting chairman. Based on what? We're not going to hold this Gail's no. project up because it's so... She won't qualify anyway. The Why garage not? is too big for her backyard. No, it ain't. Yes, it is. No, it ain't. It's 34% based on 33% is the maximum size for an accessory building. It's too big. There's one there right now. And it's a lot smaller than that one. Based on her backyard size, the garage she wants to put in is too big based on code. <clears throat> but it fits fast? between where it needs to it's fit. It's got to be less, 30% or less of the backyard, it's 34 it's 34 percent setbacks are fine yeah, building's too big for the backyard what's the definition of a backyard on a corner lot pardon me what's the definition of a backyard i, I was generous lot? i gave her from back to i think gave her from property what's line to the property definition line. of a backyard Per the Bitten City Code. If it butts up to an alley, you can take half the alley. It does not butt up to an alley. So it's from the On a back corner of lot, the house. Where's the backyard? From the house to the lot. To the lot line. What side? Behind the house. On a corner lot, what are you considering the backyard? What does the city ordinance say? You tell you me. Do your research on that? Tell me. I don't know. I'm asking. You seem to know everything. So. Well, I know that 34% is bigger than 30 and I want to see how, based on that. How many square foot is there back there? It's roughly 51 by 130, I believe. No, uh, 71, excuse me. 51 so by. So approximately 3,700 square feet. Yep. And her garage is how big? 12A. 12A. I'm sorry. 32 by 40. No, I mean, what, what's the square footage of your garage? 12 1,280. So, you can't do that. Oh, I can't do that. That's pretty damn close. That's pretty damn close to 30%. That is really close to 30%. Really close. It's 35. And I was generous with the definition of the backyard. Or side yard, either way you look at it. So you know, someone's should. definition of a backyard. What is your definition of a backyard well, on a corner? I want Chris to tell me. I want you to tell me. You're the one bringing it up. You tell us. You seem to know it. You know it all. Read it, you, please. Clearly, this is all you do in your spare time, so you tell us what it is. And all he does is pretend to be chairman. <laughs> we voted on it on my first meeting here. We didn't this year. My it's every this? year. Where does it say every year? Every year. We haven't voted in years. Two, three, oh, five. We haven't voted in 30 years, so everything we've done in the last 30 years is dead for all. Selection of officers. The commission shall choose annually at its first regular meeting one of its members to act as chairperson and another as vice chairman. Shall means it must happen. No, it doesn't. Yes, it does. Shall. No, it does not. I can tell you absolutely shall does not mean. Only thing that is a mandatory directory dichotomy is must. Must. That is that's exactly what it is. Not must, shall. not shall. Must. Then why didn't we vote this year? Because we shall not. We shall. <laughs> we decided to shall not. <laughs> that I do know for a fact. I want a legal opinion. I'm not a lawyer. 
Well, we better get ours then, get the city uh, attorney, the legal opinion. Why did we not why did we not vote this year but we did two years ago? Over this well since he got I, let's let's figure this this the square footage thing out. So exactly. let's figure it out exactly what it is. It, okay. are we, An accessory building that exceed twenty feet in height may occupy not to exceed thirty percent and unenclosed parking spaces may occupy not to exceed ninety percent of the area of a rear a required rear yard, but no accessory building shall be closer than 10 feet to the main building or closer than 3 feet to any lot line. This is... Okay. okay. So shall not occupy to exceed 30% and unenclosed parking spaces may occupy not to exceed 90% of the area of a required rear yard. But no accessory building so, shall be closer than 10 feet to the main building or closer than 3 feet to any lot line. So based on the dimensions she put on there, how far from the west lot line? I don't have the application. 10 feet. 10 feet. 10 feet plus 32 plus 12 is what? 10 feet plus 32 plus 54. And the width of the lot is what? 70? 66. If that's your backyard. Well, the, is this lot 66? I don't know. I believe it's 70. That's a typical. It be more than I believe it's 70. 70. Let's just use 70. I think I'm 71 by something, but I'm not sure. Might be well, 71 by 130. Use 71. Usually they're 66 by 30. Well, 132 is the standard lot, but they're they're all different sizes, you know. So you know, maybe it's mm. let's say it's 71. Mm -hmm. 31 by 130. Because we found the pins. Yeah. Blake was there. He found the pins. I found out that my fence in my backyard and the bushes that are in my backyard aren't mine. Right. So I think the city should start uh, looking into property lines because people are building on everybody else's property. Well, let's let's figure this lot out. So it's 71 wide by how many? 130, you said? Well, yeah, but that that's the the that's lot size. Lot. The backyard yeah, the, the is backyard property is line, building, distance to house. Based on our application, times 71, which is the width, that's your backyard. If you don't abut to an alley, so you can't use half of that. times it by 30 percent, I get 1150. 1150 square feet is what she could build? Yeah, she could build actually larger. Well, that's how much she could build. So this is, this is 12. Yeah. 12 something, you could say. So it's According to that, if those figures are right, which I have no idea if yeah. those figures well, are right. Well, if you did it not. that way, then how come if you divide uh, the other way, it comes up 33? I, well, it's math. Right? But it's going to be long in my lot, not long this way. It's going this way. It's still too big for the backyard. The way things are going for me, you know. How do you set the Is there a definition on a backyard on a corner lot? Is there two front yards, two side yards? There's typically on a corner lot, there's two front yards. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if the city code 
actually spells it out. So that I mean, that's a well, it above. does. It's, it's, if it's on a corner, there are you have to use the same restrictions as two front yards. But it, so well, the, setbacks have, the setbacks have the setbacks have to be the same. I don't think there's an issue with setbacks. Yeah. No, apparently that's not an issue. It's apparently the no. size. Was there an alley there one time that was vacated? Wasn't showing them out. Typically, we know if they make the setbacks, and you know, our, under our restrictions were oversized. We never went by. No. No percentage, but I'm not saying that's right. So, but that's no. not how we. We did that with the one on B Avenue. They got approved anyway because Blake messed up. That was over 30 percent. We said no to that. As a group, council approved it because they were going to get sued. Well, I could do the same thing. You guys want to fight? Because this well, is just, my land, and I measured everything. I'm just following I, the code. I ordered my plans. I paid money for my plans. You're going to reimburse me for my plans after I did all the measurement, and I well, talked what, to Blake what, all those what, different times. What do you think about the code? <laughs> yeah. The accessory building that I see in 24 high. Okay, may not occupy to exceed 30 percent, and unenclosed parking spaces. So it's not one by itself. Is, what about your unenclosed parking spaces? May not exceed, may not occupy to exceed 90% of the area to require your rear yard. My interpretation is she doesn't put walls on it, she can have 90% of the backyard covered. It's not or, it's and. Where's her covered parking? So is that a backyard? For a rear yard. I know, it's sold out rear What's yard. What's your address? I can't find Her address is A Avenue. But yeah. Backyard. Where does it say that in the ordinance? You keep assuming things. Quit assuming you, things. You pick and choose what code you want to argue that's, about. That's and a Avenue has been designated as her front yard. That's her address. Where does it say that in the city code? Where doesn't it say that? Where does it say it? You're assuming right now. I'm asking you the definition. You can't come up with the definition. You keep saying definition. I ask you what the definition is. You don't come up with anything. So come on, where's that? What? I don't Where's have that? the book in front of me. You know every other Let's table this. In there. Let's table it and I'll get you the answers. Well, I wonder if we should... I moved to table this. How can you move if there's no chair and there's no meeting? We're That's discussing it. There's you started there. it. I didn't start anything. So we're not having a meeting? Apparently you said we're not. Okay, well, then let's leave. Are you the chair? No, I cannot. I can appoint myself. We haven't voted one. <laughs> are we having a meeting no. or not? Well, then somebody... Are we having the meeting or not? Somebody has to call new business. Work. On right. a new business it which is included on the agenda, I would like to propose that we vote for a chairman at this time under new business. Yeah, let's say. Well, we have to call it to order. Okay, we're going to call the meeting to order. You got the roll call, Chris? Yeah, I've got it. Okay, we want to make an, an addition to the tentative agenda mm -hmm. to elect a uh, chairman of the Planning and Zoning Commission. I would like to nominate Don White. Well, you got to have a second. Or, we don't have to have a second. No. You, we have to have a nomination, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. I just nominated you. Okay. Do we have a second? I second that. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Nay. Okay. Terry. I move to adjourn. Got to act on it. Is there a second? Got to act on it. Well, yeah, sure. We're going to act on okay. it. Is there a second? Yes, I second. Or what? To oh. adjourn. No, no, not to adjourn. Oh, yeah, he did. He no, just did I it. Can't. I thought we were talking about his deal yet. Yeah. No, he made a motion. No, no, I, I'm not for that. Okay, so we have everybody understand that the the second was rescinded and a new second was made. No, there wasn't a set new second. It was not a new second. New second made. No. So we have a motion and not a second. Okay, so first order of business. I move to adjourn. Is to to have to act on it. You have to have a second. Yeah. Keep going. Okay, we're going to uh, discuss an oversized garage at 13 A Avenue. 315 A Avenue. I'm I'm more concerned with the code not at this point. I mean, we obviously a lot of having double frontage. The required front yard shall be provided on both seats, on both streets. So right. Therefore. 
some of this is going to be in the front yard. No, well, front yard is 25 feet, correct? Or is it 15? 25. <coughs> the setback she's, is 25. On she's the, more than that, or she's got a set. I think actually the front yard would be, if there's a two front yards. Which makes her okay. backyard even smaller based on that. Well, that would make it two side yards. Yeah, then that would be a side yard. What about uh, buildings in the side yard? So where's the backyard in that house? In the side yard, it's just your setback of six feet or something in that one side yard. Well, we got to find out. You have got a percentage. We have to find out what the percentages are. Yeah, I don't know if there's a. I move we table this until we get a legal opinion on what a backyard is and the size. Well, we do have to. I don't think there's any way we can approve or disapprove this. If it's if it's against the ordinance, we do have to find out what the ordinance actually is. Right. But you know they're doing some looking right now. I, I'm not saying we could vote on it or anything, but if they see what they're finding here, you know, go from there. Probably going to have to ask city attorney his interpretation of what we have to work with. I don't think technically we can make a recommendation to council. Well, you don't on the oversized garages. Just, oh, this is this this is a just conditional. A this is conditional use. Not even that. It's just the way the ordinance is for oversized garages. It just we just have to grant it. But we can make a recommendation one way or another. Then apparently, I mean, if it's just a we're just talking about oversized garage. Correct. Well, Blake was telling me that my house sits on the city property. When he was well, there. see, there's, you know, there's so much. Well, there's 150 houses in town that <laughs> really aren't at no abide by zoning because zoning came in after the fact. After there's a motion the on the table. Point of order. I motion to table this till we get a legal opinion. Can we can we make a? Do we have a second? Okay. Can we make a? Uh, can we make a recommendation? If this is just an, if all we're talking about is an oversized garage, right, and that we have definite a definition of an oversized garage in the code, mm -hmm. you do. <clears throat> On your oversized garages, it would be considered. I thought it was a conditional use. Well, I, yeah, I want. Is it a conditional use? But it's not really a conditional use. It's just has to come over to 1080. Condition. I believe is a conditional use up to 1400. dimensions or conditions permitted under paragraph 2A, private garages, in this section, but not to exceed 1,400 square foot in our district. Application for <coughs> oversized garage permit is required on form furnished by the commission. Is that under conditional uses? Yes. What about R1? It is? It's, it's all for all our districts, R1, R2, R3. What does R1 say for garage size? No, 1,008 square feet for accessory okay. uses. And you need an oversize beyond that, up to 1,400. Mm -hmm. So we, we can make a rec recommendation on a conditional use, is that right, Chris? Yes, exceeding dimensions or conditions that are permitted under paragraph 2A, which is private garages up to 1,008 square feet and 20 feet in height, if compatible with the architecture and construction of similar dwelling and other buildings in the neighborhood. Metal buildings of whole type or machine shed type construction shall be designed to match the primary structure and blend with the architectural character of the <coughs> Minimum of 12 inch eaves required. Sliding shop style doors prohibited. Well, I, looking at the, has everybody seen this? I can pass this around. This is what the, this is what the uh, design is. It looks like a garage to me. I don't know if I'll design it, I'll see setbacks, but I don't know, you know if we can 
go ahead and prove this out some kind of legal opinion. My own thought is. What's it say about 30% of the backyard? Can you please read that. That. Basically, about 130 square feet over 30 percent. It says rebuilding not exceeding 20 feet in height may occupy not to exceed 30 percent, and unenclosed parking spaces may occupy not to exceed 90 percent of the area or require year, rear yard. But no accessory building shall be closer to 10 feet of the main building or closer to 3 feet of any lot line. But that's okay, that's for accessory. Yeah. That's not a conditional. Please read the definition uh, definitions for a rear yard in R1. You're all the same. It just says rear yard. We're a lot of butts upon a no. alley. At the beginning of the ordinance for definitions, please. extending across the rear lot and being the minimum required minimum horizontal distance between the rear lot line and the rear of the main building or any projections thereof other than the projections of uncovered steps unenclosed balconies or unenclosed porches on all lots the rear yard shall be in the rear of the front yard Got two fronts, two sides. It does not. Mm. So when you have corner lot, where's the front of the house? Is it based on the address? You have two fronts. There's you have front. one address. Where's your front? It's not always. You can have two fronts. You're no. assuming things. Again. No, you're assuming. I am not assuming. You are assuming. So if I have two fronts, where's the rear? I, I think I'm not sure. It doesn't say if you have if you're in a corner lot, you have to meet the setbacks of a front yard on both sides. You can't be 20, more than closer than 25 feet. What's the minimum lot? But, I, but I'm sure it lot. isn't because I'm sure it was. It's, it's not conforming. I'm sure it was built way before. R1 so, or R1A? She's an R1, correct? Yeah, I think it was. She means that so you don't have to reduce it. That's correct. It's foot. So how did how did you get the square footage of her backyard? I took distance from property line to, to the, the building, to the across room. the building, to the house, the entire width. Well, it exactly be, what it defined as a rear yard. You would take the rear yard. How did you get the depth of the rear yard? It goes to the it's end the of the width. building. It goes it's the, the width of the front. <laughs> it's the width of the front. So it's no, I know it's the width. So how did you get the depth of the backyard? Well, that you is, go, you the go, depth is where she said it. No, the depth is the, 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 depth is the, the square footage of the lot is what we're talking about. Not, well, not where she set the garage. That's the backyard is behind the house. So what it would be, uh, typically, what I think that says is it's from the lot line to the to the closest point of the enclosed house. That's the depth. Right. And, and what I'm seeing is where did we get that measurement? From her know. from her plans. I don't see it there. I didn't see it. There. It's on the plan. It says seven feet. Seven feet plus thirty-two plus twelve to the house. This is the west lot. This is I'm talking here. here. This is the backyard. What I'm talking about is this distance. That's the backyard is the entire distance, the width of the lot, 71 feet. This is north. So this is the house right here. And she's saying it's going to be 12 feet from the house. So 12 plus 32 44. plus 10. Is it 10? 12? 7, isn't it? 12, 7, or 12, or 7 plus 32 plus 40. 51 times 71 feet if it's 71 feet wide. What is that? 
3570 3, or something like that. So take 32, take uh, 47 and 32, that's 79. So it's 79 by 71. What is that? We'll, we'll multiply that out. 79 times 71. Where's the 79 from? Well, the, oh no, the, no, it's 7, 32, and 12. So it would be uh, 51. Uh, 32, 12, 44, 51 times 71. What is that? 36, 21. 36, 21. So 30% of that is what? Depends well, how you do your math. For now. Well, no, it's it, how you do your math. It's like 1,100 square feet. This is crazy. Well, do, do, but she wants to do 1,280. That's around 1,100 square feet. Oh, right? I'm sorry. Yeah, right. yeah, it's not like you do the math, it's math. The numbers sorry. are numbers. So 1,100 square feet. It's actually 35 feet. if you do it. If you follow it. <clears throat> Can you get us a um, legal opinion on all this, Chris? Um, I can ask Doug. Next week. Next two I think I think we uh, what we can do. I think we better table it. All right. Move the table till we have a legal opinion. <clears throat> yes. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, we're gonna have to have a oh opposed. Sorry. No. Okay. You're supposed to say yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just well, say we, it. We we I, we need an opinion. Is this something that you can get a variance from? Well, that's that was proved to be illegal last council meeting. Correct. That was a legal opinion that all variances are illegal. I'm sorry. What? Variances are illegal. Correct. They're always illegal. Yeah, so that would be no. You can't get a variance. That necessarily is not true. It was last week. Yes, it depends on the circumstance, but that's not for me. Oh, so if the last name is in Sellers, it's okay. I never said Seriously. that. Seriously. When did I say that? <laughs> you implied it. it. No. It's, it's illegal for him, but legal for her. No, I never he said that. He said it was that. always illegal. But it's always considered illegal. But it doesn't mean it can't be done. It's I never said anything about last name. The that's council. discrimination. Are you implying I'm discriminating? No, I'm implying the council said that they will not do anything illegal. That's correct. That's, and board and that was based on legal opinion that variances are illegal, correct? Yes. yes. Okay, and so what's the difference between her variance and his variance? There has been no application for a variance in either we're, case. We're presenting the fact that she may get a variance to have this approved. I never, that was just mentioned. Well, I, I never said, said that. We, can you do it? we presented the fact that the variance could be proved last time, too. And they chose a not to. A variance okay. is done by the <laughs> so board of say that. And With an application. With an application. There's been no application. We have no and I don't even have any. Okay. I don't even go to those meetings. <laughs> <laughs> I have nothing to do with the board of adjustments. Okay, well, uh, <laughs> I think we need we need a, a motion to adjourn the meeting. Anybody want to make a motion? Mm -hmm. Moved. Fourth time tonight. Moved. Okay, we've we got. Calm yourself, man. <laughs> no, this is. And, and is there a second to yeah, so Yes. I'm going to question this. Well, all right. Okay, all those in we favor. We voted. Join, new right. business after this aye. one. Okay. Everybody aye. in favor, aye. Opposed? Aye. aye. Okay. Johnny keeps getting twice. What? you got to pay attention. Well, I'm questioning. Four. I'm a real. Green sellers. The smartest man in the How do you ever get on? Darren Sellers? Don't know him. This is his son, Dakota. Actually, Dakota. I don't know.